Greetings fellow Earthlings and welcome to the third and final part of this, um, I was about to say AI only series then, I do a lot of AI only series but this is not one, this is actually a human player with a bit of AI on the series, it's a hot seat campaign, uh, <laughs> as I've said before and this is the final episode of the three part series, um, of course um, playing as Norway is your total war master um, who's proven himself to be very good at these. It does a lot of hot seat campaign stuff. Uh, check his stuff out in the description. And yeah, um, hopefully the views are good. I'm actually recording all this in the same day. So I, I haven't uploaded any of this yet. Um, hopefully it's good. And if it is good, you know, I will of course do another one in January. Check out either my Discord or his Discord if you want to take part in January's hot seat. Um, just a quick thing to say about the hot seat, if we do do one, do do, um, in, one in January, then it's not done the same way as other hot seats, it's much more, um, it, it's, I don't want to say stricter, but, you know, of course, this hot seat campaign, okay, I'll say this, this was done in one month, I hear most hot seat campaigns take one to two years, no, this was done in a month, so yeah, we, we, we need, if you've done a sign on to the hot seat campaign, what we ask for is players who are actually going to play uh, quite a lot. If we can, if we can, two turns per day. That's that's what we aim for. Um, but you know, if you are that type of player who can play that well, and don't worry, we, we get that mis things happen, and you know, we, we know that. So if we're, we're not mean, <laughs> is what I want to say. But yeah, if you want to take part, then just know that that's the type of players we are looking for. People who can, like, people who are really available who can play this campaign uh, quite a lot so we can get this done in you know like one or two months um, possibly three months if we have to but the sooner the better basically is what I'm trying to say and yeah but of course bear in mind that the players that you're playing against will be the same type of people they'll be the people who are very available and will be playing this uh, constantly to also get this done in like one or two months uh, as soon as possible uh, just something I wanted to make very clear if anyone is wanting to sign up where we only really of course everyone's welcome but th the type of person we want most is someone who is very available and can do this constantly but no don't don't worry too much yeah, we, we, we get that people have lives although like we don't personally <laughs> we, we get that other people do <laughs> okay let's let's start with the series and I was starting out this time because I wanted to point this out this is uh, quite an awkward standoff here. The Scottish trying to siege this settlement here and the Irish come in to take uh, a settlement as well but you now they've realised the Scottish are over here so this is a wasted turn for them and this is why communication between allied factions is important because you know the Irish could have spent their time instead moving up here and taking this settlement. It's, it's caused a bit of an issue here and slowed them down a bit. They are still allied I think. Um, yeah still allied. So yeah. Let's continue with the series. The Irish are expanding further into English territory by taking Arundel, and I think it's at about this point here that the Irish actually realise how big Norway really is. You know, they've of course, um, you know, they've they've landed here. Um, oh, did did ne neither of them take this settlement? I think the Scottish died, and the Irish went up here to take this fort instead. So, yeah, again, bad communication resulted in uh, some problems for these factions here, I'm guessing. You know, it could have been down to anything. Um, so yeah, of course, they, they know now that, you know, the Norwegians have this settlement here. They've got settlements over here. They can see this now. Um, they probably no, they probably can see this coast because they've taken Castletown. So they know how big Norway is. And all of a sudden, they realise, oh, poo, Norway has London and Kent. And if we just have a very quick look, what can we actually see? Yeah, so they can see that the Norwegian border stretches basically all the way around here. Right, they're not too sure about Wales yet, but I'm, I, I'm guessing he knows they have Wales. But yeah, they really know how big Norway is now. And yeah, they need to strike. What, what are they doing? Are, are they still building? Yeah, they're still building trading buildings, which at this point it needs to be a talk to war. Uh, by the time that this trading building is done and generating some money, your faction's probably going to be dead. So, you know, spend this 1,200 on troops is... That would be my advice, anyway. And just go all out. Maybe he had his own plan, but... I don't know. 
and the English have closed down to their final three settlements here. The Norwegians have done a good job of taking them out in the north, and uh, the Irish taking them out in the south. Yeah, good job to both these factions in removing the AI. Will the English uh, survive until the end? Um, I don't know. The Norwegians are not letting the Irish get anywhere near London. They've already put Arundel under siege, and yeah, the Irish, like, where do you go? They need to make a push here, but they need to make a push here as well to defend. Where would you go if you're Ireland? I don't know at this point. Uh, this settlement here went Mebel. Um, I think, was that, I think it was the Irish that took that. Oh no, the Scottish are dead. Oh, so what I'm guessing is the Scottish took that, uh, but then they lost their general on a battle to regicide, and yeah, they, they lost the final settlement, so rest in peace, Scotland. Uh, of course, thank you, Lord Levin, for playing. Um, it's been great having you, and yeah, your channel is also linked below in the description. Well, that was uh, quite a big blow for the Irish on that turn there. They lost uh, Shaftesbury. Um, Arundel, and it looks like they're probably going to lose this settlement here. Will he be able to sort this? I don't think he will. I don't think he's able to sort this settlement out. This is... Oh yeah, he's got troops here, that'd be... Yeah, that'd be fine. So now, with the Scottish gone, it comes down to this. Norway versus Ireland. The battle for the British Isles and Ireland, or UK and Ireland, whatever you want to call it, um, begins now. And of course there's some English around, but yeah, no one cares. <laughs> they're gone, basically. We've got some good armies, actually. So if they actually made... If a human player took over the English, with these four armies, they could actually expand and retake their capital. They could probably retake all this land down here, but, you know, eventually the might of um, either Norway or Ireland, whichever one wins, uh, will move in and crush them. But yeah, as an AI, they're not going to do anything. We do have York under siege, and I feel like they've had York under siege for the last ten turns now. Looks like they could take it if they do attack as well. The Irish has been fully forced out of uh, the former Scottish territory up here. Now they're stuck on their islands and they've still got troops in the south. Um, and it looks like they're making some form of a landing here. Ah, it looks like they've got a plan to uh, uh, take Lancaster. Yeah, good luck to them there. I think we could actually do it. Uh, although they don't have siege equipment, so that will bring... Yeah, that will give the Norwegians time to actually... Uh, bring in some reinforcements. And yes, the English finally took over York. Well done to the English. Um, and it looks like they're interested in London as well. Is this the comeback? Is the English AI going to make the comeback and win? <laughs> oh, I can try. <laughs> uh, I, I wish the AI would make a comeback and take down both these hot seat survivors, but it's unlikely. I doubt it's going to happen. But I want to see it. Oh, from out of nowhere, the Norwegians land with an army. Take Derry, like by landing on actual Irish territory, and yeah, that's not good for Ireland. You know, they, they were once safe knowing that this was once their economic like power base that could afford to go off on invasions, but now even that's under threat. And they're about to lose their final island up here in the Scottish Islands. It looks like they're, they are planning on expanding still. They've still got some troops around, so they could retake that. And they've still got Castletown. Uh, have they, they had an army over here, now, on turn 29, it was here. Um, ah, it went up north and it's landed here, so they could, they're probably going to attack Dumfries, their general died. Well, look here, it doesn't look like they've had a battle, so I'm guessing he died of old age. Ah, oh, that's, that's not what you want. Um, of course, the Irish, uh, the, the Norwegians, I mean, took Winchester from the Irish. Uh, the Irish moving down now, uh, to try and take Arundel back, but... Yeah, at this point, what, what do the Irish do at this point? It's not looking good. It looks like the Norwegians are going to win. Uh, there's not much I can imagine the Irish doing. Uh, but the English, they retook London, so uh, yeah, well, good for them. Come on, England. You, you can make a comeback. Yep, they took it, but, you know, they immediately had to make, go on the move. And, yeah, it looks like it's going to crumble very soon and uh, revolt. And look, look at the Irish economy right now. They don't have money, and that's a that's a bad place to be in. You know, it's, if you don't have the monies, uh, then it's not going to look good. Um, how are they doing down here? Oh, they actually lost down. Oh no, they they pulled back down here, and we're now moving on to Canterbury. 
Yeah, that's that's an expensive army, and is it really doing much? It it doesn't look like it. Um, how did their army do over here? Did it die? I think it died. So they landed here at Dumfries, and it looks like the Norwegians came with an army and just destroyed them. And then the fleet came, destroyed the fleet, and then they brought an army over. All in the same turn, and now Castle Town is under siege, and it looks like we're getting another army ready to sail, and this might go for Dublin or something. They've got quite a good defence in Derry as well. Not looking good if you were supporting the Irish. Not looking good. Um, oh, I was hoping they'd have an army here and just... <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I'm hoping too much. In, um, for those interested right now, the Norwegian capital is Carlisle. Um, and I'm guessing, yeah, I knew we'd make it Ireland. I, I, I knew the Irish would make it into Dublin, obviously. Yeah, it's kind of in the middle as well. They might want to move it a little bit. Oh, then again, they've got settlements down here that we need to protect with public order. It's difficult for the Irish right now. It's, yeah, it's, it's difficult. Now, of course, they now have uh, two island settlements, but these are about to rebel soon, so they're not going to hold on to those. It seems like the Norwegians have troops ready to retake them. Uh, they've actually taken Lifford as well now, uh, so that's what fallen. And, oh, Dublin as well. Uh, somehow the Norwegians managed to get an army over here. Uh, don't know where that came from, but they managed to do it. And they took Dublin, their capital, so... Yeah, that's, prob yeah, that's moved up to uh, Down Patrick now. What a weird name. Yeah, they've of course got some soldiers around. They've got quite a big army here, but I don't think it's going to be enough. How's it looking over here? They've got this under siege, but there's a Norwegian army uh, sneaking up behind them by the looks of things, and then they're prancing the king, and yeah, it's, this is not good. And they're done be stranded here in Kent as well. It's done be difficult for them to actually move around, and yeah. Bye-bye, Ireland, I think. The English comeback is on, they've retaken Newcastle as well. Looks like they're going to go for Lincoln as well soon. Come on England, you can get the win. Um, seems like, oh, they also want to take Winchester as well. Is England going to rise again? Of course, you know, you know, t to win you don't have to take England. That's some something I made clear in the rules. Um, you know, as, as long as England are not the most powerful faction, then I guess it's fine. You win. Um... Of course, the Irish, they took Canterbury, but their army is immediately put under siege, and I don't think they're going to win this battle. And, of course, this is where their king is. Do we have any more generals? Oh, a king and three generals. So once this battle's auto-resolved, auto-resolved, then that's it. They're gone. And there's going to be a lot of dead generals. A big army gone as well. That's It's not looking good. This place here is rebelling. Uh, they lost both of these settlements. They've got an army up here, but... The Norwegians know they're here now, they destroy the fleet. Uh, this army now has to walk, and yeah. At, at the time of recording this, because I'm, I'm watching your Total War Masters uh, Let's Play, and he's actually up to this point here where, um, in his Let's Play, and I remember seeing that he, he noticed this because of he brought his fleet here, noticed these, and he started training some troops here, so I can give a bit of intel on what Norway's doing. They are training troops in these two settlements here to prepare for this. That's all I know. We are clearly getting into the final turns now, and <laughs> hold on a minute. Um, of course, the uh, the Irish are under siege here as well. It's they're, they're losing their mainland, which is not good. The army over here still stuck there, and yeah, the Norwegians still training troops. <laughs> but the Baron's Alliance throws up just as England were making the comeback. Boom! The Baron's Alliance rises. I did not expect them to. I didn't think they would rise in this campaign. I thought. Um, I didn't think they'd have the land for them to rise up, but, oh well. It seems like the Norwegians, they've got some spare troops, so they're putting uh, York back under siege. And this place here is still under siege. It looks like there was a battle. Yeah, I think there was a battle. Uh, it's not going to be enough. Let's, let's just see, what would the outcome of this be? Because it doesn't affect the campaign in any way, it's already been recorded. Yeah, so Norway would actually... Oh, Ireland would actually lose that. This hasn't... Just to be clear, this has not actually happened. Uh, this is just something I did for an experiment. It's like, who, who knows, they could win it once we reload, we have to save. Ooh, the Irish have landed here and... Not going to take Pembroke, I don't think, because the Norwegians, they're going to come in with some reinforcements. But it will be interesting to see. 
Yeah, Ireland, not looking good. Of course, they've got they've taken this settlement now. They've got another army coming to take this castle. Of course, the Irish looks like they're trying to retaliate here and retake Lifford, but yeah, that's. You know, the Norwegians have troops around. They've got another army about to come over as well, by the looks of things. Uh, the, this army is moving in, but it looks like we can deal with it. We've got enough troops in this fort and this castle here to deal with them. Uh, the English just collapsed in like two turns. Soon as they made their comeback, of course, uh, the, Norwegi the Norwegians struck at York. And yeah, of course, the Baron's Alliance rose up as well. They just collapsed, and yeah, bye bye England. And of course, as we can see here, Canterbury did fall, so uh, the outcome of the battle experiment that I showed you uh, a few seconds ago uh, did actually happen in the hot seat. So yeah, that's three dead generals and a dead king for Ireland, which is not what they need right now. I, whoa, is that... are they already there? Down to the final two settlements. Oh, wow. Not good for them. Not good. Yeah, Norway has this one. Uh, Ireland, I've got one settlement left, um, and it's, it's about to rebel, if anything. Uh, it can save it by lowering the tax, but it needs some money, so I don't know what it's going to do. Uh, the Baron's Alliance has collapsed. Um, of course, I think regicide by it looks of things, or something. Uh, the English looks like they're going to try and take Shrewsbury uh, and York again, but yeah, the, Eng the English are gone. It's like, w once the Norwegians are done here, um, it, the, the campaign ends once, you know, the Norwegians have less hot seat player left, but, you know, if this was going to continue then, you know, the, New the Norwegians will just turn their attention to the English AI and just walk all over them. The AI, what have they done really do against the hot seat player? N nothing, I can imagine. Yep, it's under siege and it's about to rebel as well. Uh, good luck vision, but I don't think you're going to win this. He's got some troops in the fort, he could... Actually, yeah, I don't have any siege equipment, it doesn't have a time. If he had a siege equipment here, he could have just walked into here and survived another one or two turns. Does he have siege equipment here? Nah. Again, he could have done it again with Lifford or something. Ah, uh, anyway, I think this is it for Norway. Um, it, this is it for Ireland. And yeah, Norway will dominate the British Isles, which I uh, did not expect when I started uh, doing this, um, this, um, what's it called, this hot seat campaign, but... Yeah, well done to Norway. Well done. And here we have it, the end of the Hot Seat campaign. Well done to your Total War Master uh, for playing as Norway and taking over and uh, destroying everybody else. Um, of course, uh, there was actually a Steam Key to win at this, so he of course won the Steam Key. I think, what was it that I was giving away for this? Yeah, the winner gets Black Wake. It's just a, a game that I won and I didn't want it, so yeah. Uh, that's how I got rid of it. I, I do a lot of giveaways, I'm not a millionaire, you know, I just want to make that clear, I, I'm not a millionaire. I won a lot of games, and I'm giving them away, that's it. <laughs> I'm not a millionaire, <laughs> um, although I wish I was. The English seem to be making a bit of a comeback, but you know, this is the last turn it's over now. Nothing matters. Yeah, so of course, a big thank you to uh, everyone who took part. Uh, thank you to, of course, Revolutionary White Lion. Uh, who played as Wales. Of course I know stuff happens at times and yeah that's that's fine it happens and yeah but it, it survived uh, long enough playing as Wales. It's of course a difficult faction and yeah he had to of course go for the English and then uh, the Norwegians landed up here and there was little it could have done. Uh, well done to uh, Lord Levin of course. Um, his YouTube channel will be linked in the description and yeah he does um, he, he did well in this, I think. Uh, well, I think it played well, especially near the end, but his problem was he signed an alliance uh, with the Norwegians. He should have gone aggressive with them. And yeah, it could have been a completely different world if he'd done that. Uh, because of how the Norwegians played, he just couldn't take any territory from uh, really anywhere. He just got surrounded and then things just slowly began to collapse. But he made a bit of a comeback, taking some settlements, but yeah, it had to end eventually. Well done to, of course, uh, Vision down here, playing as the Irish. Um, it took over Ireland, took some islands as well over here. Uh, made quite a good landing at some point in Scotland, had southern England under control as well. It was interesting to see that uh, empire rise and fall. Uh, but yeah, it did end. Uh, 
yeah, so thank you to him. Well done for really fighting to the end and uh, being the second to last survivor, but, you know, who could have beaten Norway, played by your total war master? Um, he, of course, organised most of this. I provided the players and, like, the idea to do the series, and he, he did the rest. Because I don't have a clue what I'm doing with hot seat campaigns. But, um, you know, if the views are, for this are good, which I hope they are, uh, then there will be another one of these. Uh, it will be taking place in January, possibly. Yeah, about January. And, yeah. So if you want to join, uh, sign into my Discord. Discord is, of course, free. You know what Discord is, I'm guessing. Uh, so, yeah. And there will be another one in January. Of course, it'll be a first come, first serve sort of thing. And, yeah, it's for... We like to have players who can, uh, who can like be there, uh, like consistently and play quite a lot. Uh, that's that, that's what we like because I like to get these done very quickly. I don't like these are not done last two years. These are done last like one or two months. I think it's the Crusades we're doing next. I don't know. I can't remember. Or the Americas. One of either Crusades or Americas we're doing next. Um, I think. Unless there's like soup high demand, then there might be a medieval two vanilla or something. But I don't know. So yeah, let's check for statistics. So of course, let's get all the factions in, even the English. Uh, the English second place at the end, but you know they don't really. You know, I don't. I don't care about the English. Get rid of them. Overall, of course, Norway. Well done to them. Ireland did well as well, but things just collapsed once uh, war began, and the Norwegians were strong enough to like take on everyone at once. Uh, military as well, Norway, they just had a massive army. Production as well, you know, they, they clearly had the money for it as well. Territory wise, at the end, uh, the Norwegians ended with huh, about 38 settlements. Uh, does, does it actually tell me here? So that's. Ah, 40 settlements. Right, they had 40 settlements at the end. I think this is always like delayed by like one turn or something, which is annoying. Yeah, oh well. Yeah, 40 settlements for them. Yeah, you can see it's delayed, of course, because the Irish are dead, but it's still the same. They've got one settlement. One settlement. Uh, the Irish at their height had 16 settlements, but yeah, then it all just collapsed after that. And yeah. Scotland, they just didn't make any gains, really. Uh, they had. They had quite a good end where they were fighting back a bit, but it just wasn't enough. And Ireland, uh, Wales, I mean, good start, but then things just collapsed. I remember the player, of course, couldn't play his turns, and yeah, that's when it really collapsed. I remember Norwegians landed as well, and I mean, I had to take over, which is just the worst out of everything. <laughs> so yeah. Here's finances. Of course, Norway got super rich at the end, uh, once it was able to really capitalise on the land that it took. And population there in Norway, as you can see again. So well done to all these players. Thank you for to uh, playing. And uh, yeah, uh, please of course subscribe if you enjoyed the series. There will hopefully, if the views are good for this one, uh, be another one taking place in January. Um, so yeah, be subscribed so that you get notified for that and my um, all my other AI only series, battles and time lapses. Um, and of course, please share the series if you enjoyed as well. Um, if you want to see a Let's Play of the series, your Total War Master recorded one of those. The playlist to the Let's Play will be linked in the description. If you want to check him out, uh, you know he's put a lot of work into uh, organising this, and he does a lot of hot seat stuff. That's his. My unique thing is AI only. His unique thing is hot seats, so that's why you know we just combined both ideas together and created the series. So yeah. Uh, show him some some support because he, he put a lot of work into this and you know I'm I'm grateful that I did it's I think it's turned out really well and yeah hopefully we'll see a lot of people in the next one. Uh, speaking of time lapses, I did briefly mention that uh, that will be coming um, in six days, so Friday the fourth of January I think. So yeah, the time lapse of this will be Friday the fourth of January, um, and yeah. Overall, I just hope you've enjoyed. Um, and yeah, goodbye.